Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in this video, I would like to talk about a powerful feature on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 that I have come to love and use quite often. This is a software feature and it pertains to security and it is called the secure folder. Basically, it is a private environment that is locked down with a password or your fingerprint or your irises inside which you can store private photos, documents, videos, files, and more away from prying eyes. If you're not already using it, you're going to love it. So let's dive in and take a look at what I'm talking about. And of course, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to actually enable the secure folder. Uh, what you could do is you can either go to the app drawer and then if you go into Samsung in there somewhere, you'll see the secure folder sitting just there in this case. Uh, you can tap that and that's going to initiate the setup process. Or if you do not see it in your app drawer anywhere, you can go to the settings, uh, scroll down to lock screen and security and scroll all the way down and look for secure folder right here. Tap on this guy and it's going to start you through this process. So if you read this, it says keep prying eyes away from your private files and apps with secure folder. Only you can access the private pictures, notes and apps on your phone, which is exactly what we want to do. So tap this guy over here. And once you've gone through the slides, just click start. Now it is advisable to use your Samsung account just in case you forget the password to your secure folder. Then you can go ahead and actually reset the pin number or the password to your secure folder. Uh, click confirm. It's going to ask you what kind of pin number do you want to secure your secure folder with. In my case, I'm just going to keep this simple. I'm just going to go with pin. Uh, if you want, you can enable fingerprints and iris scanner so you can use your eyeballs or your fingerprints to access the secure folder. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. So let's just click next and let me just pick 0000 for this demonstration and then click OK and it said it is creating the secured folder. Now once you create the secure folder, this is exactly what you're going to see. This is the same screen you get to access when you go into the apps, go to Samsung apps, go to secure folder. Then it's going to ask you to put your pin number. That's why we picked the pin number in the first place. So I put my pin number in. Now if I had fingerprints or iris scanner enabled, I would have that option as well. In this case, I only have a pin number. So I'm just going to click OK and we go back into that same screen. Now I'll take a look at these apps here. The apps sitting here belong to the secure folder and they're only accessible by you as long as you know the pin number. Now let me do a quick demonstration using the secure folder to show you how you can hide your files so you get the idea. Then we'll come back and dig a little bit deeper to show you some fantastic features. Now as soon as you exit the secure folder, it gets locked down. All right, so everything that was in the secure folder is on a lockdown. Now let me go to my gallery, my regular gallery, which is outside of my secure folder, this one right here. And as you can see, where my albums, let me go to downloads over here. Here's a picture that I recently downloaded to my phone. Let's say that this was a private picture that I wanted to actually hide, only accessible by me. All I do is tap on it, go to the settings over here, and then at the bottom, in the middle actually, you'll see an option that says move to secure folder. So I tap that and what's going to happen is it's going to ask me the pin number, the password for the secure folder. I'm going to put that in, click OK. And as you can see, it says moving items to secure folder. After that process is complete, you go back out here and let me go back into the actual secure folder. Again, it's locked. It's been locked up. So if I go back in, it's going to ask me the pin number again. That's why it's really secure. Anytime you exit it, it locks up. Go back in. Now, if I go to the gallery, I'm going to have that picture sitting right here. This picture is completely hidden from anybody else. So let me go to my regular Samsung Notes application where I store my notes. And uh, let's just pull up Samsung Notes. And as you can see, in here, I have one note. It says non-secure note for demonstration. So this is a note that's not secure. What if I want to create a note that is fully secured under the secure folder? All I do is go back to my secure folder, uh, which is right here, tap it, put my secret password in there. And then from here, I can launch Samsung Notes. 
and as you can see it is completely empty I can click plus and I can just put a secure note here let's just say secure note okay and then I can click save and now this one is actually in my Samsung notes as well but it's under the secure folder so if I go back out if I exit the secure folder and if I go to my uh, regular Samsung notes you're not gonna see it here all you're gonna see is the non secure note if I want to see the secure note, I go. Ha I have to go back in the secure folder, and then I would have to go into the Samsung Notes from here, and the secure note is in here, but the non-secure note is not here. So everything that happens outside of secure note stays outside, but everything that happens inside of the secure folder uh, stays inside the secure folder. Even the camera. So if I take go out here, right. And if I take a picture right now, as you can see, I'm launching the camera through the secured folder. I tap this, I take a picture, there we go. I go back out, and then I go to the gallery here, and that picture that I just took, the dark picture, is right here. It's sitting in the secured folder. If I exit and go back into the regular gallery, it's not going to be there. That's the beauty of the secure folder. All you have to understand is everything that happens inside the secure folder stays inside the secure folder. Okay, you can either uh, take pictures and have them securely saved in directly into the gallery, or you can go into your gallery application and you can move individual images to your secure folder. And of course, you can do the same thing with anything in here. So if I go back in here, unlock it. Uh, you can do anything here with the calendar. You can have secure appointments. You can have secure internet uh, browsing activity, contacts, email, uh, my files. You can even uh, hide files. So if I go to my files over here, let me go to the regular my files. So let's launch this. You'll have access to everything, right? Let's just go to audio. And here's a music file. What I can do is I can select this guy. I can tap this icon and I can move it to the secure folder. I tap this. Two, three, four, boom. It's been moved. So now this thing is also, if I go back to audio, in the regular audio on my files uh, application, you're not going to see it. If I want to access it, boom, go to secure folder. Now if I go to my files over here, tap on audio, and it's right there. Okay, so you can secure just about anything. Docs, apps, files, video images, anything you want. All right, now that you understand the concept, uh, you can start hiding your stuff. But there's a couple more things you can do here. Let's uh, enter. And as you can see from here, you can just, if you tap this, it locks the secure folder and exits it. Uh, from here, you can add more apps. So you can add extra apps into your secure folder if you want to create double copies, one secure, one non-secure. For example, this gallery here is an, a copy of the app gallery, but this is the secure version. You can do the same thing with a lot of apps here. Okay, and then what you could do is you can add files. If you tap this, it's going to allow you to add individual files into your secure folder. You can also uh, edit the apps. You don't want one of these apps, you can delete them. Uh, and then if you go here, you can go into the settings. From the settings, you can change your lock type. You can even enable, uh, if you want, fingerprints and irises right from here, just in case you want to use those mediums as security. Now make sure that this option here is enabled. It says auto lock secured folder automatically each time when you leave the app. So make sure it's not set to five minutes, 10 minutes. You want immediate security. So it's immediately is good. And then you have a couple other things here you can do if you wanna see it. You can even hide the secure folder, even though I don't recommend that. Here's what I recommend. If you enable this, it's gonna hide your secured folder and then it's just gonna be a pain in the ass to come back and access it, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go back here, tap this icon, and maybe just use customize. So instead of saying secure folder, you can just say, uh, let's just say S, just an example. And then uh, let's pull this down and you can pick a folder, I mean a folder icon here. So you can pick, pick S, uh, you can give it a very casual name. You can just go like, maybe pretend it's a banking app, which is naturally locked. So nobody will suspect that it was actually a secure folder. So if I had this as a bank account, right? Bank account, let's just say bank. Uh, even if somebody clicks it and it asks for a password, it's natural that it's gonna ask for a password for something that is titled a bank. 
So that's one way to make it even more secure. But the bottom line is you can pick any app that you want. I mean, any icon you want here. You have all these customization options and uh, you can give it individual names. So click apply. Now, when I go back into the uh, Samsung, as you can see, it doesn't say secure folder, it says app. And when somebody taps it, it just asks for a password, which is natural. Everybody's hiding their bank account information. So that's basically what secure folder is. All right, let me go back in here really quick to my bank account. Boom. There's so much going on here that you can do. Like I said, you can hide pictures. You can hide, uh, take uh, pictures with your camera that go directly into the gallery uh, already secured. You can create uh, secure calendar entries just for yourself. And then, like I said, just come here, take a look at all these settings and get used to them. And also explore the uh, backup and restore setting that allows you to actually backup your entire secure folder. All right, so let's exit and go back out. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.